So we got Nicole Alexandra. She's in in the studio right here at 22 West Radio, and this is exciting because this is Strike a Chord, where we play you music that you might not actually hear unless you actually physically pick up the record. And I think this is such a cool transition because we were just talking about the Dark Moon EP, kind of explaining a little bit about where you went. You went to the Berkeley School of Music. Now you're out here in the West Coast. And that's my next question. Why did you leave the East Coast to come here to the West Coast? Wanted to take things to the next level. Gotcha. And a lot of LA. people, they come here. Yeah, and it make it makes sense. It really has made sense. Did so it make far. sense for you? Yeah, being here has just changed so many things in my life. It's been great. Um, everything that I already was doing, now I'm doing, but more often, more performances, more writing, more collaborations that have been just incredible. And yeah. I had that back in Boston, and Boston's home for me with my family and all right. that. But it also is such a college town that it just gets to a certain point where I feel like a lot of the fans, or I don't even like using the word fans, but people <laughs> that support, you know, support right. the music, they then move, or my band, you know, everyone graduates, they move, right. and it just got to a point where I'm like, ah, oh, everyone's moving. I should give this a shot. And no, I think it's awesome that you took this shot because actually like me I'm like so fearful I haven't even been to the east coast and I just actually left the country for the first time ever to go to Japan like oh, in January okay. right yeah. so like even doing making that move was like actually kind of terrifying <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I was like this is pretty insane and I think with you actually taking that big leap and that big dream to the west coast I think that's a incredible feature that you got going for yourself and basically, I really wanted to play some music off your Dark Moon yeah, EP because I love this. Good. And one of the Thank songs you. that uh, stuck out to me was Believe, and which mm-hmm. is your second track. And I kind of just wanted to ask, like, right out the gate, like, what was the message behind Believe when you actually got, or Believe when you yeah. got into the studio? There's a lot behind everything I write. There's there's like di- four different storylines I feel like almost going on. Oh, and that's I wanted, for sure. I wanted to be open to like interpretation. Mm-hmm. So yeah. one line might mean one thing, and then the next. Uh, the next one might kind of not contradict, but okay. show just like a different side of what I'm feeling. Like I'm basically having a conversation with myself and I'm saying I miss those days when I would just believe and I was carefree and like basically what happened over, over, you know, the just my life. And yeah, <laughs> yeah it's kind of serious, I guess. But just missing those days of feeling like you just knew you can do anything. But now I feel a little different than when I wrote it. So right, you know, right. it's all like that's one side of me. But then the other side says, oh, no, I I feel like I, I believe in anything. So. Do you feel uncomfortable mm. sometimes playing like songs like these? Like if it mm. doesn't relate to you anymore? No, or? actually, that's a good question. <laughs> um, no, it's been fine. I guess I tap into whatever that feeling was when I first wrote it, and I just get back into that place. And then once I'm done, then I feel like it's just like, I guess, acting or Okay. You know, okay. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. Like switching back and forth. And I know we'd be talking about it a lot, but I say like we should actually be playing some of your music mm-hmm. right now. And sure, I know yeah. Believe, this is off her Dark Moon EP. Go and check it out. This is Nicole Alexandra. She's all over Apple Music, Spotify, and all that other cool jazz. So yes. check it out. This is uh, Believe. Everybody's trying to make They're trying to make me Into something I am not No, I could never be I'm desperately
like so smooth like you, you just put me to sleep like that was like that is like those really good moods those really good feelings you should be having and this is the chris collins show and we got nicole alexandra and like she brought her violin in and i know she just rocked it like a ukulele earlier which was <laughs> yeah. totally insane but you know what she's actually going to be playing a little yeah, bit of violin just to kind, of, kind of do a live rendition because that's the coolest part about doing a radio that's show right, right. It's kind of do this kind of mtv unplugged exactly. kind of style exactly. thing so this is groovy so we got nicole the singing violinist she's gonna Show us her moves. I know. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Oh, yeah. I want to be dancing right now. I know, right? We need some drums. Hey. Hey. Ooh. <laughs> Marissa's like, let me be a drum. That I felt your arms around me, yeah. I know that they do not belong there, and I cannot breathe when you surround me, yeah. I'm going toe-and-toe with the devil With my heart on my sleeve He tells me he'll give me everything I need Till we crash and burn Dang! <laughs> I wasn't expecting all that This is insane Wow. I'm amazed. And the crazy part is I'm like literally three feet in front of Nicole as she's doing this. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, I got to look out. I'm like, but I'm just watching this because like I've never been this close to a violin player playing music. And I was kind of fascinated just by looking at the strings of the violin. And could you kind of tell uh, the kind of the listeners out there who are not familiar with the violin Kind of like, is this a nylon string or is this a metal? I mean, I... Right, yeah. There are actually different type of strings and it'll say either... I mean, sometimes they're... Oh, so, sorry. No, no, you're good. Sometimes <laughs> they are... They'll have like a gold plated like end or you can get okay. the loop kind. There are many different ones. I just love this brand called Eva Parazzi. Okay. And it really, it just goes with... I, I would just, yeah, say... But you hit like... So- like fits that instrument like different tones of the violin will be produced depending on what string you get for that instrument. yeah because you said something about gold plate in the loop yeah, especially on the bottom ones. short <laughs> string right this is like a, a loop one and, and what will a loop uh give a violin player if you add it does it just kind of it's just different preference i think and okay. for me i've noticed the loop ones will break easier versus the ones that have a little ball in the end oh. it's just different different kinds yeah yeah but all of them for the most part it's great it's just i'd say get strings that really fit whatever instrument you're playing that just sound good so i just try different ones and see what tone i like the best i love cool. it i mean that's kind of like me even too and like i just and basically that was such a cool live rendition that we had of oh, Nicole Alexandra. You. And basically, <laughs> she's still sticking around. She's been rocking the violin. She is known as the singing violinist. <laughs> and catch us around. This is the Chris Collins Show live on 22S Radio. And we're going to a commercial break. 
Yeah, so we are back. This is the Chris Collins Show, and you, you got Marissa and I, and we got Nicole Alexandra. She is known as <laughs> the singing violinist. I know she is sexually doing her thing, playing the violin. And I want to say, I think what's really cool, which I really wanted to ask about, we were kind of teasing a little bit during the commercial break about the horse hair. Oh, yeah. And it like, <laughs> I like, I, I was asking her like <laughs> the, the, the silliest joke. I was like, is there like short hair or long hair? Or do we get like the Kentucky Derby kind of horse, or do we get? <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Does that have to be a, like, <laughs> is it a white horse or is it a black horse? Does it give off a different tone? I have no idea. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I have no idea. I know I love this bow so much, but I don't I don't know the, the origin of it. <laughs> I know who made it and things like that, but that's about it. Gosh, and, <laughs> gosh that's like that's gonna be like the eighth wonder of the world kind of thing, mm-hmm. right? But my coolest thing is we've been talking about it earlier in the show, basically how you've been infusing the whole hip hop and the R and B and all that other cool jazz. And I, I know you got that. this great cover with your boyfriend that you were saying, which I think is so cool with it's mm-hmm. supermodel slash the worst. And it's like this eight minute rendition where you guys were in the studio yep. and uh where did you guys record that at so that was back in that's in boston okay. yeah so this has been it's been a couple of years and i yeah i love that studio um and yeah, yeah. i think i think it's totally <laughs> cool because like why did you choose that song i know it's gino aqua i can never oh, pronounce right. oh it's okay i think it's janae aiko but I, see i can never oh my gosh yeah. see but they're <laughs> butchering songs. everything <laughs> no you're fine it's it's not an easy name but there are two songs that i did in there the first one supermodel is by the singer SZA. yeah and so then i took that and then we turned it into a medley and that was really fun i want to do a lot more of those i have two of them out on youtube right now but the There'll be there'll be more. There's another one, Rockabye and Stan. That's, that's okay. the other one. So a little Eminem in there. Just why not? Yeah, oh, right. I love Eminem. Yeah, and I my do. my biggest thing is it's like, do you uh for up and coming bands, like I know for me and myself, I'm in a little punk band with my buddies, like nice. in a band called Baseline. And I'm always advocating for these guys to always play more cover music instead of just trying to jump straight ahead into recording yeah, music. Right. Do you see that being a number one mistake with artists, or mm. do you think some people have it. I don't I know. I guess I'm just really open minded to anyone's process. So if they want to begin with just writing their own things or producing their own songs, that could work. But it is really nice to throw in covers and play songs that and are make relatable. Your own and yeah, just yeah. a combination. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I, I like to do both. Um, and why this song to retransform? the lyrics of both songs just really hit me and I could feel just any any song that has just like a lot of emotion and passion and I also just like the way that they flowed from one song to the next I'm like oh that's a nice transition that's true. I think I should I think I should try putting them together. So. And those lyrics, actually, I never thought would work so well together <laughs> with the violin. And I, I say we check it out. We're going to check out the fir- like kind of the first half, I would say. And this is Supermodel, right? And this yeah. would be uh, SZA. Yeah. And, and uh, it switches over. Covered by Nicole Alexandra. It's awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Writing this letter to let you know I'm really leaving And no, I'm not keeping your shit Heard you got some new homies, got some new hobbies Even a new home too Maybe she could come help you Maybe she could come lay you After we're done, what's done is done I don't want nothing else to do with it Let me tell you a secret I've been secretly banging your homeboy While you're in Vegas All up on Valentine's that was hot. Yeah, Location. it's really hot. I, I really <laughs> dig that music because it, we kind of wanted to give you guys just a little bit of an idea because, you know, we got some naughty, naughty language that could happen <laughs> in that music. But I think that's just what's so cool about, you know, you being able to break those boundaries, break those kind of genres and be able to kind of mush them together because you would have never thought that with this kind of music that it would be so smooth and genuine how you even put it and betray it. Appreciate so I, I think it. it's and I think it's really, really phenomenal. And this one, this this song right here on your Dark Moon EP, we just wanted to play a little snippet of it while oh, yeah, we had the time. Sure. And this one, I can't bring myself to leave. And my biggest thing is you were talking about earlier with like some songs, how they can have like four tales into right. one. Yeah. This one seems like a b- very particular story in your life, yeah, especially about when's the right time to leave right. a relationship. Right. And 
Do you yeah, want to kind of speak upon sure, that, that a little bit? It definitely has a specific story. So it's not based on my own life. Okay. It was about a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. And I just noticed I was I was hearing her come to me and just in so much pain and this relationship wasn't going the way she wanted, but she still wanted it to work, of course. And I, I felt that pain and then I, I wrote this song about it, just not being sure like what am I doing? Is this yeah. person messing with my head or should I try to give another shot? So all right, I well, like can't that. bring myself to leave. It's yeah. a quick little snippet. I'm wasting my time away. I let you get the best of me. And now that you're in control, I'm just a puppet on a string. You can make me do anything. How did I let this spiral out? Control. Never thought this would happen to me But you seem to hold the key to my soul You're vital to me like the air that I breathe So much fighting you won't give me air yeah, Hello, definitely. what are you mentioning? Oh, so I'm really excited about a show that I have coming up on the 9th of June oh, at where Hotel at? Cafe in Hollywood. Oh, that's a great Ooh, yeah. venue. So I'm doing a solo set, and it's going to be an awesome night. Okay, yeah. and where can, where can we find the tickets or where to RSVP, yep. all those kind of so cool jazz? I would probably recommend the easiest would be my Instagram, okay. which is at the singing violinist. Also, my website always has links True. for tickets, and that's the singingviolinist.com. Yeah, and I think that's a great point. And you guys, this is Nicole Alexandra. She is the singing violinist. (laughs) And you guys are listening to the Chris Collins Show live on 22 West Radio. And we were just so blessed to have you come on in the studio. Thank you. Kind of have a little rendition kind of going in here because I have never been this up and close and personal (laughs) with the violinist like this before. So it's amazing. And thank you so much, Marissa and I. We cannot thank you enough. Wonderful. Thank Thank you so much. And for all the listeners out there, if you want to become a member today, check out the ChrisCollinsShow.com and also on our YouTube page. We dropped one of the full uh, links for uh, the Just Talking segment of Jacob Tillman, where he uh, he's from De Inked, the executive producer. You want to know about laser tattoo removals? Go check it out on our YouTube page. What's good, listeners? I'm the host of the Chris Collins Show, and if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button below, and check us out at thechriscollinsshow.com. Peace!